What's good, planty peeps? My name is Lily, and welcome to Peace Lily Plants. So I recently did a plant trade with Kelly Hoya, which go subscribe to her channel. She posts a lot, and the videos are fun to watch. I can testify from personal experience. She sent me a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I feel like I didn't send her enough stuff for what she sent me. And then the the night that I opened the package, it was late, and I was lazy, and whatever, whatever. I did not film myself unboxing her package, which feels a bit like a travesty since she sent me so much stuff. Today, I thought it would be fun if we looked at all of the stuff that she sent me. It's been sitting in water jars for a month or two now right in front of south facing windows so they should be nice and well rooted i mean many of them had roots already but you know what i'm saying so we're about to dive right into it and we're going to be checking on them and potting some of them up probably not all of them because then this video would be two hours but at least some of them and uh before we dive right into it please go ahead and like this video you haven't watched it, but there's lots of cool plants today, so I think that you're going to enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel for more planty content. Also, oh no, I just saw I have a smudge on my glasses. Oh well. This shirt, how cute is this shirt? And I don't know, I feel like it goes well with my tattoo. Uh, I got it from Hello Fancy Plants and I used... Jacqueline's Jungle's uh, discount code. So be sure to check her out and check out this shop because they have some cool clothes. I'm hoping that the little design does not crack because I uh, have got another plant uh, words, what are words? I've got another plant merchandise before. And the design was so cute, but then within a year, and I don't even put clothes in the dryer, just in the washer, but within a year, they would start cracking. So I'll keep you guys posted on whether this design starts to crack weirdly soon, or if it actually lasts for a while. Over here, I've got this note that Kelly included with the package that will help to ID everything that we look at today. And I'll let you know that, especially with the Hoyas, I do not know which one is which. So it will be fun to watch me guess and uh, for you to tell me in the comments when I get things right or wrong. Between my overgrown bangs and my slightly too big glasses, there's going to be a lot of hand fidgeting around the face today. Uh, first things first, let me just start grabbing them and pulling them out. So the first thing we've got here is some Sandapsis Silver Splash. As you can see, not every single leaf has made it, but you know, uh, plant stuff is usually not perfect. We do have several leaves that have made it, so that's amazing. And look at these roots, you guys. OMG. These are ready to be potted up, I believe. And I do already have a silver splash, but it's really small. And I saw that she had a really big silver splash and was uh, propagating a bunch of cuttings. And I told her I would love to have some of them and just kind of add them into mine so i think that's one that we will go ahead and do today let's just pull these out of the water or well maybe i should look at all the cuttings and then do that in a minute okay that's what i'm gonna do so let's just sit this down and look at the next jar so here we've got some kind of hoya let me refer to the note. Mm. Uh, Alright, so the options are Australis, Linearis, 
Alba Marginata, Magrophila, parentheses, Latifolia, Bertonia, Pubic Alix, and Cardiophila. I'm going to take a gander because of the long leaf shape that this is Pubic Alix. But, uh, I might be wrong. Oh, actually, this is two different kinds. Okay. Holy crap! This thing is super rooted. I think this is probably ready to go into soil. Let's see, what is this one? Alright, with these rounded leaves, I'm going to say that this is Australis. Because I have Australis Lisa, which is just the variegated version. And it looks pretty similar to this. And this has some great roots as well. We've got several things here and uh it's gonna be common with all the jars that we're gonna see a lot of roots so that's fantastic oh i just saw a little monster at a zoni hanging out the corner of the screen i love that plant so much and i was trying to do one thing at a time but it's all so clogged together oh man this is a crazy mess right now Okay, this is, I believe, the Alba Marginata. Alba Marginata Magophylla, yes, because Alba Marginata uh, means the white variegation is on the margin. So there we go, and it's got a good root going on. I might leave it for a little longer, just to uh, let it get some more roots. Get another piece of it. Oh wow, these roots are really popping off. So we've got two pieces of Alba Marginata that are rooting up quite nicely. Probably gonna leave them for a little while longer. Let's see, this is, what is this? Oh, this is Silvery Anne. Sundapsis Silvery Anne, cause I had told her that if she sent me some, much like with the Silver Splash, I was just going to add it into my plant because I don't have a very big specimen. So, I think this is ready to be potted up. We might do both these Syndapsis pottings in this video. And here's some more of it. Oh lord. A couple of the leaves not so great, but man, look at those roots. Alright, we'll definitely go ahead and deal with that today. Oh, and I think here might be another piece. Let me see. Oh, yep, here we go. And uh, Classic Syndaps is putting off this really long runner for no reason. Let's see, okay, now we're running into a begonia. Uh, check with our list here. I think, uh, it says watch glass. And I'm wondering if watch glass might be the same thing as looking glass. Because, reaching up over here. Uh, uh, words. Miles sent me this one. Well, I guess they're not exactly the same. They look very similar, though. And this, he says, is looking glass. Uh, I might pot these up together just for funsies. Not sure if that'll be today or a different day. We'll see how much I have put on my plate by the time this is said and done. And what we have left is so delicate. I am worried about uh, injuring it just by, you know, feeling it and moving it out of the jar and stuff. But this is Hoya Linearis and it's rooting up quite nicely as well. It's not as rooted as some of the other things so i think we'll put that back in the jar and let it keep chilling for a while but it is looking good i slurred so bad just now 
It is looking good. Yeah, that's how we enunciate. All right, here we go. Another mixed jar with great roots. So let's see what's going on in here. I think some things I'm going to be very excited about. Once again, I think I'm just going to have to, oh gosh, I hear cracking. Man, so many roots. All right, let's see what we can carefully pick out first. Looks like we got some Peperomia scandens variegated, variegata, whatever. And uh, I love my normal scandens and have been wanting a variegated one, but I could never find one in person. Just uh, haven't been lucky on that for some reason. So thank you to Kelly for finally sending me some. And this stuff, it's rooted up really nicely. I'm debating about whether to put it in the pot with the normal scandins or make a new pot with just the variegated. We'll see. I'm always trying to think of ways to like have less overall plants to water and take care of, you know what I mean? So I like to put things together when possible. Yes, uh, multiple pieces with really good roots. So I'm extremely excited about that. I think here's another piece. Let's see. OMG! Four pieces! I'm gonna have a nice little plant here. I see... What is this? I think this is Syndapsis Trivii Moonlight Dark Form. That's awesome. Um, it does have roots, but not a ton of them. So I may just let this one be one that goes back in the jar for a while. Deal with that later. Oh, so many tangled up roots and I'm trying so hard to be careful here. You guys, I have been trying to acquire this for a while now. Man, Jula put this. And look at that root. I think that is ready to be potted up. I mean, I, I could leave it in the drawer for longer, but I'm really excited about that one. So I kind of want to pot it up ASAP. Oh, yay. There's more pieces of it. Here's a really well-rooted piece, and I think some of these leaves, it probably put off while it was in the water, so that's exciting. And here's another piece. Oh, wow, this one has crazy good roots on it. And, of course, the beautiful manjula leaves, kind of rounded, looking, looking similar to that one that you... See right there, put those in joy, but a little bit different. Bigger leaves. So the other thing that's in the jar is just more pieces of the Syndapsis dark form. Well, not more pieces, just one piece with three leaves. Very well rooted. So between this and this, that'll be a nice little baby plant of it. That's exciting. Tell me if this is true for you guys, but I've never seen this in person. Like, never seen it in a store, in anyone's collection, etc. I think, well, uh, I'm gonna let the dark form go back in the jar for a while. And, uh, where did I put the jar? Over there. And pot up Scanton's variegated and the Manjula pothos. So we got two more jars that we're going to be breaking into. Again, can you believe how much stuff she sent me? Like, the generosity of people in the plant community amazes me. So, once again, as with every single jar, tons of crazy roots going on gonna grab it all like we've done with the others and pull it all out okay let's just start breaking into stuff except we don't want to break anything I meant that only as a figure of speech 
All right, I can tell it's a Hoya leaf. Um, it's not, it's not, well, I was about to say it's not Australis. It might be Australis. Uh, it's not Linearis or Magophyla al Alba Marginata or Bertoniae or BBK Lake. So it must be Cardiophyla or Australis. Kelly, let me know in the comments. I'm just going to leave it in the jar until I know what it is. Or maybe when I look at this bigger piece, it'll be more obvious. Here's some other tiny leaf Hoya that's rooting up, but neither of those pieces are all that well rooted, so just gonna leave them in the jar for a little longer. All right, this is Monstera Sotipicana. Very exciting because I enjoy Monstera. I have Peru. My lovely Anasunii back there, can you see? No, the Peru's on the other side, but enjoy my Peru as well. It's got a really little, it's got a really long runner that's getting on my nerves right now, but it's a cool plant. So anyway, I've totally been wanting this one. This one is well rooted. Um... Well, I mean, it's got roots, but it's not as crazy as the other one, so may or may not leave it for longer. We'll see how the other pieces of it look. Here's more well-rooted pieces of the Sotipicana. Alright, here's some more something of a Hoya. Um, I don't know which guy this is. Is it Cardiophylla? Is it Australis? I'm pretty sure it's got to be one of those two just using process of elimination. Uh, really well rooted, but I think I'll wait until I can ID some of the Hoyas to plant them up. We got another Hoya here, I can tell. This is Bertoniae. Has a nice little root going on, might leave it for a bit longer. I can tell that it's Bertoniae because I have bought an extremely overpriced cutting of this on Etsy and I killed it. So, very happy to have another chance with one that did not cost an arm and a leg. Here's another well rooted Hoya. I, once again, am not sure which one that one is. Alright, I have not seen this, but it's adorable, and it gives me, like, Nick Pelleggi, Steve Lee's vibes of being something that looks woodsy and natural and not something I see a lot. It's very well rooted. It's called Lace Vine. Sorry. Lace Vine. I know when I say things, it's hard to understand sometimes. This has a great root system, so maybe this is ready to be potted up. Another Hoya. Um, still not sure. I really am thinking this is Australis, but I have a, no idea what Cardiophylla looks like, so it could be that as well. Look at this root! It looks so funny. It's got, like, the one root and then a bunch that are coming off of it. That's pretty cool. And then lastly here, we've got one more piece of the Sotipicana. Once again, rooted up very nicely. Last jar here, once again, fantastic roots going on in there. And let's see, because she kept asking me, did the Profetivora that I sent you uh, finally root up? And uh, so we're gonna see the answer to that question. So she sent me a piece of Philodendron Brazil, and actually this piece that she sent me is more mature than my Philodendron Brazil. Like the stem is so thick compared to the one I have, and I really like that. And the reason she sent it to me is because, um, her mom passed away before being able to retire and travel, so she likes to send a piece of it to any place her mom didn't get to go, which I think is just so sweet. This is going to be very meaningful when I pop this up. It looks like 
I could probably pot it up today. Look at those roots. We got some more Bertonii, Hoya Bertonii. And uh, they are rooting up slowly but surely. Not uh, really big long roots like some of these, but they are rooting up. So that's awesome. So uh, trying to pick up one more piece of it here. Bam. So all the pieces together when they're done rooting up, I'll have a nice little starter plant with four little strands in it. Look at this! Raffinophora tetrasperma! Oh my goodness! This is another one that I've been wanting for a long time. And look at those roots! Those are glorious! OMG, we're definitely potting this one up. I feel like um, some of the stuff that she sent that's listed on here is uh not up here when we got the package some of the pieces were really small i needed really small jars and my mom was like i'll take them and root them in these really small jars i have so this isn't even everything that she sent me but holy cow can you believe how much stuff this was kelly's a really good person to trade with because she's not gonna short you at all so, uh, let me get some of these back in the jar and kind of assess everything I said I'm going to pot up today and, uh, get some pots and we'll resume. Let's start by adding the pieces of Silver Splash in with the one I have already. And this is what a very thirsty Silver Splash looks like with these curled up leaves. But, you know, you should let a plant dry out before you repot it because it's just not too good to try to repot without doing that all right uh it came right out i really hope that the pot i'm using right now is going to be big enough for all of this because if not we might be a little bit screwed because i'm very low on pottery I think it would be a fun video soon to figure out what all kind of pottery I need and go get it. Dang, that is some crazy roots. Um, I might have a pot that'll work. Not the most ideal, but it'll work. Five minutes later. Nope, I don't have a bigger pot, so let's just hope this will be alright. Do you guys ever wish you could control Z in real life? Like when you make a decision that is maybe not the greatest, and you wish you could just backspace and undo that. I'm kind of wishing I could do that right now, because maybe I shouldn't have unpotted the other one. But we're going to make it work. It's just going to be a little tight in here. We may need to repot this sooner rather than later. Alright, she's potted up. And of course I'm going to cut off all those yellow leaves in a minute here. And it looks odd right now because the middle is barren and it's all hanging over the edge. But as it grows in... It'll be fine. Okay, that was kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, let's not do the silvery and next. Let's see if potting up these little cuttings is gonna be easier than, uh, having to unpot a plant and pot it back. What can I reach? Let's do the tetrasperma next. Uh, let's see. What is gonna be... A good pot for this. Mm. Well, on second thought, I think that one might be a little bit too short. Because it has roots coming off even kind of higher up. So, let's go with one that's a little bit deeper. Okay, 
Here we go, we're fitted for a tetrasperma, potted up in a cute little terracotta pot. All right, I've got the Peperomia scandens Ferragata and several other pieces of it as well that I'll show you momentarily. I think this is going to do better in that short pot with the bunny on it. So we'll get this planted up. Just a moment. Here we go. We got the little Scandens Varagata potted up. Once again, it looks a little funny because the middle of the pot is barren, but it'll fill out. Don't worry, guys. Next up, we got the two pieces of Manjula Pothos. And, uh, no, wait, no, it's three pieces. My bad. You'll see in a moment. Uh, I'm experimenting to see will they fit best in here. Do they need a bigger one? No, I think they'll go good in here. Okay, let's do that. All right, the manjula is potted up. Could use some brushing off with my little makeup brush that I use on plants, but uh, I'll do that in a minute. All right, y'all, I'm running out of soil and mental capacity. So let's hope I can get through it maybe a couple more. All right, is this pot gonna be good for the Hoya pubicalyx? It's a little big, it's a little big. Maybe I'll save this one and potentially pot it up with some of the other ones. I think it would be cute to have like a mixed Hoya pot. Here we have my Silver Ann that I already had once again. I let it get super thirsty so you can see the leaves are super curly because it is not good to repot a plant that is, what's the word, uh, moist. The soil and the roots, you want them to be dry so that you can water it afterwards. Here is my now fuller Syndapsis Silvery Ann plant. And uh, it's better filled in around the top than some of them that I've repotted today. But I have reached my, uh, my maximum. I'm about to be on the brink of insanity. I can only take plant chores for an hour or two, and then I'm like, uh, this is so tedious. So anyway, we'll have to do all the rest of them a different day, but thank you so much, Kelly, for everything you sent me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And one more thing, wherever you are, whatever your circumstances, bloom where you are planted, honey. See you in the next one. Bye.